So Google I.O. 2022 just got done and we have the Android 13 Beta 2 live on my Pixel 4a and the Pixel 6 Pro on my left is something that I will have the current stable version of Android 12 running just for a comparison. Now if you haven't been following about the updates regarding all the Android 13 updates be it a developer preview or the actual open betas check them out in the link over here up here so that you are up to date with all the changes that have happened so far and i will be taking you through about the changes that happened after android 13 open beta 1. now first change is that android 13 open beta 1 came with the april security patch but uh, right now if i go into the android 13 version you can see it has been updated to the may security patch so that's the first update you can see the build number over here all right so one of the first few setting changes is that how the status of your ringer will show up on the status bar over here so you can go to settings and then sound and vibration so you can you have this toggle over here which has come new which is always show icon when in vibrate mode so when you press that this vibrate mode icon pops up it will go back again so it used to happen when it was in complete mute so this is the icon for the mute mode but it wasn't there for the vibrate mode for a while until you pull down the notification shade so you can see over here after i pull down the notification shade it's there so that's the first small change the next change is around something of app info and permissions so when you scroll down over here you have a new option over here which is pause app activity if unused so it will remove the permission delete temporary files related to it as well and stop notifications coming to your phone so when you have unused apps they won't eat up permissions or data in the background so from that perspective this is going to work there was already a feature before in android 12 to remove app permission if not used for a while so over here you can see remove app permission and free up space it's the similar kind of a thing so it will delete the temporary file which is freeing up space and also stop notification in this particular case so technically there is a permission now to disallow apps from turning on your screen which wasn't the case before definitely over here now unfortunately that is probably enabled by a flag which i cannot find out right now so that's one thing that will be added very soon now another thing if we go into the developer options right now if we go into system developer options over here under network we should have a new option so under networking we have network download rate download rate limit which wasn't there over here as well so if you can see this is under the networking section we do not have anything of that sort so what this can do is that uh, sorry so you can just go in here and set a download rate limit over here in case you are using mobile data which could be useful another thing over here is so over here you have another additional developer option which is allow mock modem now mock, mock modem will uh, just for instrumentation testing so i don't think that it will be useful now there is a bit of a change in the media player again so we had a drastic change with the developer preview too but now if i just play a random song so this is how the media player looks now and it's a bit different so if you remember that media player was way different the play and pause button was a huge button over here with just the next one and now what happened we do have the swiggly uh, uh, seek bar over here but it has shortened and come to the corner over here only again we get the like and dislike button back so these are differences which has come in adding on to that difference is that when you click over here there is a settings uh, icon that comes up which wasn't there before now another change which comes in is with respect to the battery so let me just quickly jump into battery and then battery saver and then set a schedule now when you go to based on percentage you have the option of going to 10 percent so if i do that on stable android 12 as of now so you can see that the minimum was 5% it has been increased to 10% now I would personally like the more flexibility over here which isn't the case 
but still it's there so that's a small change that is introduced in beta 2. Now there are few more differences which are there between these but those are mainly in the tablet UI which is difficult to replicate over here I could try but it does not look nice. Now there are some transition changes which are happening over here so you can see when you go into another menu the transition is a bit different so it's not exactly like it is before so let me compare over here maybe so on my pixel 6 pro it's zooming out and zooming into the image of the screen if we see again over here but over here let's just go back it's swiping in from the side which seems more natural so this is a major transition change which has happened you can see again over here and for example so that's a transition change which has been introduced in the android 13 beta 2 so few things that were removed in android 13 beta 1 can make a comeback so for example we had the contextual search also if you note over here this particular animation with the color fill and expansion is different so if i go over here there is nothing like that there is a slight color fill but not like exactly this also the g logo is still existing so if i just go into something like selfie something like camera so basically the other menus are not really coming up so i believe this is a bug on my 4a at least because other devices it is working as i'm, I'm aware so if i do something like this these contextual menus come up which is not coming up completely right now but it is kind of back because before only web results were coming up over here so if i hit search you can see that web results are coming up also if i tap here also it will go into the menu bar of the app drawer which isn't the case over here because it's just going to the google app in this particular case in stable android 12. so that's another difference so again if you can see if i do camera it will show me the app icon from my device the other thing that makes a comeback in this particular version again is the app languages so let me just so you can go to system language input and per app languages is something that is there so let's go to system over here and then language and input so over here you can see there is app languages so you can go into each individual app and select which language you want to view that app in now i feel this is really good especially for people who are multilingual and uh, interact with a lot of people in different languages from their day-to-day -day life especially for something like social media apps this might be really helpful for people who can make a use for it so it's good that it's coming back so hopefully this will make it to the final version as well another thing that should be enabled by a flag is something like a predictive back button now it's a bit different with what is um, happening with the regular back button over here so if you hold and drag over here it should help you invoke some other actions as well another thing is obviously when you open a certain app and you have some notifications over here you can just drag that particular app over here and put it into split screen very seamlessly this is still working and it's really a very good feature according to me so that's something you really would want to have on android 13 so yeah that's about it the major changes now app pairs is going to be in stable android 13 so you should expect this app pair feature to come down in other oems which aren't providing android 12l for their smartphones so that's an advantage hopefully we see the same coverage of themed icons over here in the march feature drop we got the introduction of this battery widget over here so you can see how it is placed i don't have earbuds connected hence it's not showing the status of that now the difference is that if i go into my widget section and i go all the way down to setting services is where i get this particular battery widget now over here in android 13 and hopefully in stable android 12 soon as well we will get a section called as battery where the widget will be listed so that's the difference also you can probably see an easter egg of the new pixel buds pro so that's a bit different which isn't the case because here it looks a bit different with the and with the example that is shown over here so that's kind of an easter egg so let me just bring it to the home screen just to show you right now you can see the size is huge 
and it is filling up the whole thing with one device only so over here you can see it's only a pill shape bar over here whereas this is filling up completely what i'll do is i'll show you by connecting an earbuds so i got my earbuds over here so let me just all right so you can see now additional device came in and all these got stacked up over here also the logo is pretty different and the same features exist over here as well like just here and if i expand it you can see it can get this big and show you exactly how it looks and you can bring it this big this looks very congested and bad which wasn't the case over here actually it did not get any smaller as you can see it is this is the least uh, height you will keep it at but here it is letting you do so also again you can see the easter egg of the buds over here which looks like the pixel buds pro also the case is just like the pixel buds another thing is that when you press on that particular uh, widget it takes you to the bluetooth menu and now unlike this uh, you can see that when i go into the battery it just sinks into the screen now this animation is finally linked to the widget as you can see which wasn't the case before so even if i go into the phone section it will still do the same so this is a nice thing which has come in this was the only google widget which did not have the animation linked to the widget itself but now it's finally there so that's another small difference so that's been it for android 13 beta 2 so really excited about android 13 comment down below about what you found the best feature and if there was any other feature you liked from the previous android version so that's been it for this particular video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.